So there are definitely a range of different problems that we'll see in children. Oftentimes, a child may present with an eye turning in or turning out, turning up, turning down, um, which could signify the need for glasses, um, or there could be another cause for an eye turn, something maybe ocular disease related. There could be something going on inside the eye that's affecting the child's vision and causing an eye turn. Sometimes it could be one of the more obvious things. You notice that the child's squinting when they're watching TV or the teacher reports that the child's squinting in the classroom. You may notice that they're holding reading material or books really close to help them see better. But sometimes it could be more subtle. So you may have brought your kid for an eye exam. You see that they read 20 20, they see the whole eye chart, you're told that the eyes are healthy, but you may be thinking that something is, is just not right there. Could be an eye teaming problem, an eye focusing problem, or an eye tracking problem. And these are all different aspects that we'll assess during a comprehensive eye examination. So we'll look to see how the eyes are working far away, how the eyes are working up close. We'll check their three-dimensional vision, see if they're able to use both eyes together. When an infant comes in for an eye exam, we like to tell the parents to bring them in when the child's gonna be most awake, so hopefully after a nap. Uh, we tell them to bring bottles, food, toys that excite the child. We are able to actually check their vision. We'll hold up cards that have black and white stripes and we look to see where the eyes are looking. Uh, we also look at the alignment of the eyes, make sure the eyes are straight. We check all the eye muscles, make sure they have full range of motion. And we can even check for a glasses prescription. Um, and then finally, we'll check the health of the eye. So we will dilate the child and we'll look at the back of the eye, look at the health of the optic nerve and the whole retina. Vision therapy could often be used for children that have lazy eyes, where their eye isn't able to see 20-20 or for an eye turn. Other areas that we could work on in vision therapy is for children that lose their place when they're reading, skipping words, skipping lines. Children that are complaining of double vision, where they have trouble using both eyes together to keep reading material clear and single. And what vision therapy is, is it's usually weekly office visits for about 30 to 45 minutes where there's a doctor and a therapist working with the child, and it's an individual program to help the child improve their vision and their eye teaming skills, eye focusing skills, and eye tracking. The American Optometric Association, the AOA, recommends that a parent should bring their infant in for their first eye exam, assuming that they don't see any problems at the age of six months, assuming that there's no problems at that exam at the age of three, and again, assuming no problems before first grade. I think it's extremely important for children to come in early for an eye exam. There are many problems that we could pick up, and if these children aren't treated at an early age, it could lead to difficulties in the classroom, difficulties learning, or just difficulties throughout life. So the sooner the child is brought in for an eye exam, the sooner we could find if there's any problem and then treat and better serve the patient.